Hi guys, in this video I'm going to have a chat with you through the mortgage cashback offers that are available in the Irish marketplace through the banks. Before I get into each of the banks and what they're going to do for you, I'm going to first talk about one of the questions that I get asked all the time, which is if these cashback offers are subject to tax. They like to say that they're not subject to tax, so the payment you get from a bank and a cashback offer by bringing your mortgage to them or taking a mortgage with them is completely tax free. However, just watch out for the likes of Bank of Ireland and Ulster Bank with their mortgage savers. Mortgage savers are different, they're not cashback offers, they're bonus interest you get for saving with those banks and they are subject to dirt at 33%. Both banks will give you about two grand back if you save them for a period of time before you draw down your mortgage with them and if you're a first time buyer. So the cashback from the mortgage point of view isn't subject to income tax, but if you're getting bonus interest on saving with Ulster Bank or Bank of Ireland, you will see 33% tax. So first, let's look at Bank of Ireland and EBS. Both banks will have advertisement campaigns out there saying they're going to give you 3% cashback. How this is broken down is 2% up front and then 1% after five years. So essentially, you're locked at a bank at that rate for five years in order to get the 3%. Next of all, we're going to look at Permanent TSB. Permanent TSB will give you 2% cashback on drawdown and also give you 2% on each year monthly mortgage repayments back into your permanent TSB current accounts. You must switch your current account to permanent TSB in order to avail of that offer. Then next up we have Ulster Bank. Ulster Bank will only look after you with a switcher mortgage, which is 1,500 euro. We switch your mortgage to them, and that's to cover legal fees. Then we're gonna look at KBC. KBC are gonna be the situation where they're gonna give you 1,500 euro cash back if you take a mortgage with them as a first time buyer. And if you switch your mortgage from another provider, they're gonna give you 3,000 euro cash back. So be very careful there between the 1,500 euro for first time buyers and the 3,000 euro for cash back. And last of all, we have Haven. Haven are going to allow you to draw down 5,000 euro cash back if you switch or take a new mortgage with them with a minimum value of 250,000. Be careful here. So if you're taking 250,000, the 2% 2 cash back is 5,000 euro. If you're taking a loan for 800,000 euro, it's still 5,000 euro, okay? So that's the total banks to show you what they look like. What I really want to tell you here is that be careful from a switcher point of view. You do switch your mortgage, you're going to be in a situation where you will have legal fees. This way a lot of people will look for a cashback offer when they're switching their mortgage. Next of all, I want to have a chat with you about first time buyers and looking at cashback and rates and how every client that comes to us here for mortgage consultation at Ask Paul is different. If you have a first time buyer and the first time buyer is really cash strapped and literally every penny is going to the same for deposits, solicitor fees, all the usual expenses, well then a cashback offer might really suit that person or that couple when they're drawn down to get cash back into their bank for doing the house up or for outstanding expenses, etc. However, if you have a client, a first time buyer that doesn't need cash back and are cash rich and have the deposit and extra savings or investments in place, they might decide to go for a bank that has a really low or no cash back offer to keep their interest rate down as low as possible. The point I'm trying to get across here is that everybody is different when it comes to their finances, especially when it comes to their mortgage. So please book in for the mortgage consultation with the Ask Paul team. There's a wealth of experience and knowledge there and it's something you definitely won't regret doing. And we can take it through all the options and all the figures. And lastly, for the last bit of bonus advice here, people will usually talk about the likes of the Advant money coming into the marketplace at 1.95% interest rate, which is the lowest market rate around. However, it's for 60% or less loan to value. Not many people out there, especially first time buyers, will have that low loan to value. And a lot of second time buyers won't have it either. But if you do, you might be attracted by the 1.95 rate. However, you might be able to take a cash back off another bank with still a low interest rate. And sometimes when you weigh them up, you could end up paying advent back over seven years before you break even versus the cash back offers in the marketplace. And that's provided the interest rates stay the same. But again, this is something we love talking to clients with, breaking down the figures, making them easy for you to understand, and making sure you get the best deal for you, because everybody is different, especially when it comes to mortgages. Hope this video has added value as always. Cheers and have a good day.